leave your worries all behind. But the fear is in the palm of the hands. The way to brightness. So cherish all your precious times. A very warm welcome from the Stadium of Light in Lisbon, known to its fans as La Catedral. And here we have Benfica against Galatasaray. I'm Peter Drury, and seated in the experts' hot seat is our man Jim Beckley. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere, and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. We've just been given. Who can make the difference? Wesley Schneider. He may be small in size, but he's big on influence, and if he has lively movement around him, he'll find the runners. He's the pivot for all that goes forward. I'm thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. Now it's Podolski. Out to the left it goes. Salvia. Looks like a good ball through. Mitroglu. It's out of play for a goal kick. If you have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals. Where to from here? Demonstrating fabulous determination, he just will not be beaten. The Choklu passes it through. Totolski. Salvia. The ball needed to be better there, that's a wasted chance. out to the wing. And it's Mitroglu. Looks to slip it through. Managed to get it away. Schneider. So who can spark this game into life? It's Podolski. Aim forward. It's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Decent ball. Firmly met. Tries a through ball. Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Yeah, I've got great admiration for the finish, but I've even more admiration for the pass that set it up. It was delicious.
Benfica take the lead. Yeah, they may have got the lead, but that next goal... Yeah, we've reached half-time. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Benfica, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. And we're off again. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Jonas. Now the pass. It's Salvio! Oh, he's really drilled it. Passes it through. Very well to intervene. Benfica just about have their noses in front. It is the slenderest of leads. And it's Podolski. Schneider to stroke it through. He has done it! Unbelievable. Galatasaray are back in business. <laughs> That's wonderfully done. Chris Pitch, true finish. Look, volleys can be worked on and improvements can be made, but in the moment, it takes timing and balance to catch the perfect spot on the ball to produce brilliance like that. That is absolutely magnificent. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, we thought that this one would be close between two strong sides like this, and I think that just goes to prove it. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Sonchuk Inan. Benfica yet dipped into their subs. Well played, he saw that coming. Benfica can't seem to retain possession. Looking to force his way through. Well, that was a really awkward one for the goalkeeper to deal with. A chance to play it in. Michoglu! Goal! Benfica! And they get themselves in front! What about that, Jim Beglin? Well, we've just seen intelligent football from intelligent footballers. That's honed on the training ground and lovely when it comes off on match day. Galatasaray have a sub ready to come on. Benfica go into the lead. Schneider. And it's Jemaili. Podolski. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Looks like a good ball through. It's a loose ball. Jonas plays it out to the wing. It's come loose.
safety. Looking to shoot. Well, he would surely have scored there more times than not. This lane on, they need to be pushing forward if they're going to get a result. And time is up. Benfica win it by the odd goal. Almost nothing in it, perhaps a draw would have felt fairer. But that's the game, and they have won it at the margin. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, all I want to add here is that I thought they were very brave. I think they, they stood face-to-face -face with their opposition to see who'd come off best, and um, I think they probably deserve to come out on top.